Yes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Simon the Sorcerer 2, and I'm here with Retro Kaiser again. Yep. Yeah. That <laughs> that that just suddenly brought me back memories. I've, I've been rewatching some uh, some of my other old Let's Plays. I rem and I was reminded of that time when we, during the first Broken Sword Let's Play with Dorovka when I accidentally introduced him <laughs> as you. <laughs> 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 like, it, like, it's so, like, instinctive for me to say I'm here with Retro Kaiser again that, <laughs> that, I, that it slipped out that one time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, apparently I'm secretly Hungarian. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Hey, I see a water bottle. Yeah. Some sort of bottle. Oh yeah, we're gonna... Okay, so we're about to run into a character we've technically seen before, but we didn't talk to. Um, I don't know if you remember very, very early uh, in the game, there was uh, that whole Aladdin bit. Uh, mm, the with, lamp. Yeah, the lamp, but the genie wasn't in. He, had a, he left a recording. Yep. Yeah, so we tried to pick up the bottle, and... Oh, that, that, that break there was because the CD started loading again. <laughs> What the hell's your game? Hey, I'm on holiday. Didn't you get the message on the answering machine? Uh, no peace. I get no bloody peace at all. Oh, I should have listened to my mother. What did your mother <laughs> say? What she said was, don't get a job in the public sector, Keith. You'll never hear the end of it. Keith? You got a problem with that? No, no, no. No stereotypical anorak image attached to it at all. Good. Now... How can I help you? You could say you've got three wishes, master. Ah, see the loading break. <laughs> well, that might be a bit of a problem at the moment. Why is that? You may have observed that I am currently living in a whiskey bottle. <laughs> I'm not feeling totally at my best re-wish granting, so to speak. One might say you're more like a gin e. <laughs> would be more appropriate. Anyway, I'm making no guarantees. What do you want? Uh, is there an... Oh, wait. Um... I wish I was back at Calypso's shop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is great. CD Ali loading break. <laughs> Alikazam. <laughs> Alikazum. Uh, I don't think this is Kansas. Look at that guy. <laughs> just reminds me of Life of Brian. You lucky you know bastard! Magic Emporium? I was about to say that <laughs> this was Monsters Inc. before Monsters Inc. But <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm impressed that you remember that. Actually, I, I, I feel terrible because I can see we understand uh, each other. Easter, Easter was like not too long ago, and. On Easter time, I always watch Life of Brian, but this year I didn't because we uh, we were watching uh, the Holy Grail with my sister. So yeah. Help! <laughs> oh, I get that joke. Oh. Stick a rubber glove up on. And all you can say is, "Whoops." Sorry. What's the matter with you? It's the whiskey. It's gone straight to my head. Right. I'd better find some way to sober him up. Yep, so we have to <laughs> sober up the genie of the bottle. <laughs> that sounds... I, told, I got that joke with the rubber glove. He was about to get probed. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said as much. We were just talking over it. <laughs> oh, but actually, that's a really funny thing. Another thing you said very, very early on when we were doing this Let's Play was you were disappointed that um, when we got into the tower that there wasn't, a, that there wasn't like a Rapunzel gag. Uh, but there mm. totally is in the first Simon. So maybe, maybe we should do the first Simon at some point. Yeah. All right, so there's this dog blogging our bath, pa path. Sorry. Nice doggy. Oh, that dog. He looks too fierce. So uh, just before we do this puzzle, uh, have you ever... Have you, pl have you played Monkey Island 2? No. No, you haven't. Okay, so you don't know the solution. Then. <laughs> no, so, whoops. That's I the wrong... I can't give it away because I haven't even got it. This solution, sorry. <laughs> you pick up the dog. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's how easy it was. 
I could never get um, the only time I've ever had um, the Monkey Island games. I could never get it running on my computer. Really? Okay. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. You should, well, the bra well the special editions and probably three and four are also on Steam, so you can probably just get them from there. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Uh, I love how they recycled those Z animations from uh, Simon earlier. Or at least these two are. I think this is different, but yeah. They just had, had them colored. Alright, let's talk to this lady. <laughs> I presume. What can I get ya? I don't know. What have you got? Well... We've got decaf. Yeah? That's it. Do you want some? Decaf. That's what... <laughs> that, that explains why everyone's asleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never actually... I'm, 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 yeah, I've never had decaf cafe, ca coffee, so I have no idea what it tastes like. <laughs> um, it doesn't taste as good as the real thing. Yeah. I normally drink... Uh, if I drink something that's decaffeinated, it's normally um, an alternative called caro, which is like a... Okay, it's called a cereal drink. But it's like not breakfast cereal. Also, I, I gotta ask, what's the point of decaf? <laughs> like the, for the, those. Yep, sorry. It's for those who like the taste of coffee, but not the buzz. Yeah, I guess. I guess who am I to talk? Because you know, I, I, I. <laughs> she had to taste it first. Sleepy. All right, so this decaf coffee is not not quite the solution for the genie uh, sobering. Meanwhile, oh, at the fortress of doom, another cutscene. <laughs> Oh yeah, so that's so. This was that Sordet's robot body, and we do actually get to see it at the end of the game. We also actually get to see Sordet as he was alive, or as he was in the first game, very very late as well. Oh yeah, and actually. Yeah, there was a little glimpse of it that was uh, sort of spirit. Left I never thought I'd, I'd never thought I'd see Billy Idol shoot out the nose of the Motorhead mascot. <laughs> <laughs> what vivid imagery! <laughs> <laughs> That's a Monkey Island quote. <laughs> uh, this totally looked like an inventory item on the table. This leaflet, mm -hmm. but you can't pick it up. Okay, let's ask for more decap. <laughs> So, can you put the mouth over a mouth? <laughs> yeah. I'd really love another cup of decaf. Coming right. Oh, hey, did you uh, did you watch? Oh, this was all the way back in January, I think, when I did my previous uh, favorite adventure game puzzles uh, video. Oh, I need to catch up on that. There's a whole bunch of He-Man videos I need to watch from yours too. Oh. The old 60, <laughs> 60 second reviews. I watched the first few. The first few. You mean the ones that came out last year? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, well, I kind of hit a, I've, I've hit a bit of a stride with those, especially now with the corona and everything, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're not, they're not hard to make because they're, it's all still images, but yeah. It took, like, the first couple of, uh, I gotta be honest, like, I'm not too proud of those first few, uh, reviews. I've kind of hit my, they really got better after a while, but yeah, I was just saying because, we're about to run into a character who featured very prominently in that last video. I even put up a few clips of this guy. <laughs> yeah, let's go talk to him. 
Hey man, hello. You up for anything, man? You up for anything, man? <laughs> Any what? Huh? Never mind. What a strange man. Yeah. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I just this this guy just reminds me of that old Dave Chappelle bit about Sesame Street, and then they had, <laughs> and then they had the audacity to put a pimp in there. They don't they don't call him a pimp, but I know a pimp when I see one. They call him the Count. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my money? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, look at this guy. We we can talk to him. Yeah, this is really funny. <laughs> hey, kinky. How's it hanging? Oh, very amusing, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing up there? What does it look like? Is it some sort of punishment? Sort of. I'm being tortured. Oh, doesn't look too bad to me. The generator's broken. They're still waiting for a repairman to come over from the mainland. <laughs> what did you do to get put up there? It's my turn. Hey, what's the point of having an expensive torture machine if no one ever does anything wrong? I don't know. We take it in turns to be tortured. Otherwise, it'd be a waste of money. I <laughs> suppose that's primitive culture for you. But I'm Tish. <laughs> yeah, I love this guy. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, we, we I picked up a little whistle in the on the ground. Actually, I didn't say. But we didn't look at it. I think it's a dog whistle. And here's the generator. This is giving me. Uh, this is actually giving me Broken Sword Two flashbacks. It doesn't appear to be generating. Yeah. All right. So we picked up that dog. So we put the dog on the generator. <laughs> Stay. Uh, if that's okay with you. And uh, if we use the whistle, then of course he starts running. So now the generator's working, and now there's this switch we still have to use. And I see the that. big on-off switch. Yep. And of course I used the wrong icon because of course I do. But yeah, this is kind of annoying about this. Generally speaking, I do prefer this over the first Simon the Sorcerer, but this interface thing is like yeah, a little bit of a mess. All right, now let's use the whistle. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love that all this animation. Oh, this is this one is the worst. Oh god. Yeah, I, I would not wish that on my worst enemy. <laughs> that reminds me of a scene from one of the Pink Panther movies. Really? Okay, which one? Yeah, there's, there's this, um, I think it's Son of the Pink Panther? I think it's that one? Yep. There's a, there's a scene where you hear screaming and when it zooms into the torture room it's just someone scratching nails on a chalkboard and the, person, the other person being told like, STOP! STOP! Oh yeah, that also reminds me of that scene in Ace Ventura 2 when that uh, when that uh, guy uh, when when Ace is like scratching the uh, the plate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, hey, let's talk to this guy again because he does actually have something Word, we need. Word, man. Word. Word. Are you up for anything, man? Yo, what's happening, man? Uh, how's it hanging? Word up. Faith, man. Sorted. You up for anything, man? Oh, here, here it is. Word, brother. Got any salmon? <laughs> Word, brother. Got any salmon? Sure thing, brother. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> I have some salmon. Sorted. I got some C, man. C? Caffeine tabs, man. Keep you going all day. You know what I'm saying? Caffeine tabs. Yep. How much are they? Three bungas each, man. I haven't got any bungas. All right, Maybe so we need bungas, man. which is the local currency. All right. Luckily, <laughs> yep. 
Sorry. So we have to go down the road to Limbo to, to get some bungas? Oh yeah, you could actually make out the sign. Good. So yeah, we haven't gone down here yet. There's a Limbo competition. Yep. Let's go talk uh, to this guy. Excuse me. Would you like to enter the competition? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Would you like to enter? Ten centimeters. Hey, that's easy. <laughs> what do I have to do? It's simple. Just get under the bar over there without anything touching the ground. I have to fly under? Except your feet, smart ass. Right you are. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's walk up to the pole. Do we have any more entries for the limbo company? Is that person in the hole trying to dig under it? I think he's, uh, he's like a judge uh, trying to see that you actually don't touch the ground uh, with, uh, with your hands. Is what you call in a, some kind of an official. Alright, now we use the whistle. So th there's the guy screaming who's being tortured now. All in the knees. <laughs> <laughs> Time to claim my prize, I reckon. Oh, I, I didn't talk to him about the prize, but it's... I uncover next? It's exactly... It's three bungas. Yeah, exactly. Exactly three bungas. Not one, <laughs> not two, but three. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, so obviously we use that to get the caffeine pills, and then we use it with the decaf to make regular coffee. <laughs> what exactly mm -hmm. is that supposed to achieve? Uh, what? Okay. I'm not going to give stuff away unless I. Oh, need okay. To. We have to do this. I got the cash, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, that is annoying. <laughs> I like the music in this game. It is. It is really good. I like it too. You'll be buzzing now, man. All right, and let's uh, use the caffeine tabs with the coffee. Coffee laced with caffeine. coffee. <laughs> coffee laced with caffeine, he says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, Jesus. All right. It is kind of funny. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of animation. There's like a uh, like a fly catching uh, plant. That's actually a thing I learned only a few years ago. That there is that you. Th that uh, being lactose intolerant and being allergic to milk are actually two different things. Because, um, Interesting. yeah, because lactose is just like the sugar in milk, but uh, then there are people who are actually, um, like, allergic to the actual, like, milk proteins. So they can't have any kind uh... of milk. Yeah, exactly. Because lactose is just the byproduct of the milk, so that's why when you. You, you can have, like, lactose free milk. But you can't have milk-free milk. -free milk. <laughs> That'd be cold water at that point, wouldn't it? Pretty much. I mean, yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's a really funny. Uh, oh God, what was that? Uh, Lewis Black did a really funny. That's a super old stand-up bit that about like soy milk, and he's like, "What the? Where is the soy tit that it was squeezed from? There, it doesn't exist. So what's in the box?" Get it away from my milk! It's whispering things to it and making it feel bad for itself. <laughs> 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 yeah, I love Lewis Black. Like that, that, he's like stand up. He even said himself that he didn't like tell, <clears throat> like he didn't really tell jokes. He just got in front of a microphone and then very, very angry. So that's <laughs> that's what his mm -hmm. stand up was all about. Uh, I keep using the use icon, thinking that it. Ugh, all right, let's grab the bottle again. This is really funny now that we poured the, ca the coffee there. <laughs> How are you feeling now? Much better. If you could speak a bit more quietly, it would help. Ready for mm. wish granting? <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> All right. I wish I had finished the whole game. <laughs> I wish I'd finished the whole game. That would be cheating. So? No can do. It's a game. <laughs> Anything else you want? I wish this sad outfit I'm forced to wear was the height of fashion. Even I can't accomplish that. Just my luck. Anything else you want? 
do it. All right, now let's actually do the real wish. I wish I was back at Calypso's shop. Alikazim. I love the sunglasses on him. <laughs> Alikazim. There we go. Yep. Anything happen while I was away? <laughs> what on earth are you dribbling about? <laughs> it's no good. You're going to have to take that gag off. <laughs> I haven't got all day. It doesn't suit you anyway. Thank God you're back. They've taken Alex. They've taken my granddaughter. So what? How's the wardrobe coming on? I've got the mucus aid. You must go and rescue her. I can't imagine what terrible torture she must be going through. Never mind. She's a big girl now. I'm sure she can look after herself. So let's get the wardrobe powered up and I can get out of this crazy place. But what about Alex? Sword yeah, Simon. Simon is non, not very heroic. Sordid? <laughs> it must have been. Well, flat out dick is probably what I'd call him the most. Yeah. Master villain. Bloody well coming back from the dead just when you least expect it. What are you going to do? Hmm. I think, given the circumstances, that it's not really any of my business. But. So I'll just be off if that's all the same to you. But good luck with the baddie bashing. There's actually a really long cutscene right here. I just remembered so. What about it? See you around. I suspect sabotage. <laughs> I thought you might do this. So I took the liberty of removing a vital component as an insurance policy. Damn! <laughs> you can have it back when my granddaughter is safely back here. All right. Not that I have any choice. Good. Good. Now, I expect you were wondering how you were going to get there. Not really. Allow me to introduce you to Masala. I wondered when the lion was going to turn up. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> he yep, another Narnia reference. You can ride on mm -hmm. to Swordin's lair. I love this cutscene, by the way, that's coming up. Uh, I suppose it'll do. Good luck, Simon. Just one last thing. Yes? Would you mind untying me, please? You're a wizard, aren't you? Yes, but... Untie yourself, then. But... Oh. I can't do it without my spell book. <laughs> right, Lion. Let's start by establishing who's boss. <laughs> That's cleared that up, then. <laughs> <laughs> and thus began Simon's long and arduous journey through dark and treacherous lands. It was a journey on which he was to encounter many strange and wonderful things. They were also bloody cold. I love these little details on this uh, travel animation. <laughs> You'll notice. From the frozen wastes to the barren desert, he journeyed day and night. <laughs> Causing only to scrape the sand out of his nose. This actually reminds me of another game. I'm wondering. Braving the murky depths, he I'm wondering if, if Golden Axe had despair. that kind of like a layout between the transitions. <laughs> it's all right to visit, but you wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> I love how the lion didn't have anything except the goggles. Oh, CD load. His journey took him to the area. Oh, it must be a sea lion then. Oh, ha ha ha. Uh, I think have gone left at that last junction. Um, Hell on Earth. Right? <laughs> Who 
with the lion just sitting there smiling. Be right. You can stuff this texture mapping business. Ah, the time before GPS. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Emerging at last from that terrible place, Simon and his new friend entered the Valley of Doom. Friend? I wouldn't be here now if he hadn't glued my feet to his back. The big boys have sent us this earlier today. Does anyone know who this is? Is it your man? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Lieutenant Snot. This is the wizard who is coming here to kill the big whiz. Him? He's too little. Big whiz turned him into squashed pulp. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant, I tell you not to say stupid things. You is confined to barracks. Yes, Captain. If you see this human, then report it to me immediately. The big wiz has got special plans for him. <laughs> you in whole heap of trouble. I wonder <laughs> if I might be allowed a telephone call? All right, and here, wait. Yes, here is where we'll end it this time. So see you on the next part. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.